Beloved in Christ, we thank you once again for watching this channel. This moment, I want to discuss something most important you have been hearing in your life to you. At this moment, I want to ask you, have you been frightening in life before? I once got opportunity to follow my uncle deeply in the forest when he was a hunter. And at that particular moment, I was frightened because the word fear, that started with afraid in my mind. Beloved, today's topic, I want us to discuss, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. In life, you need never to be afraid as a Christian. If you make your mind to follow Jesus Christ, never be afraid. When we say someone is afraid, what does this mean? Close your eyes and let's pray. Father Lord Jesus, we thank you at this moment. We say glory and adoration be unto thee. At this danger, we need thy spirit so that we can be bold enough not to be afraid in life. Let this word be understand in our life so that whatever we'll be doing, it will grant, grant us more mercies to see you one day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father Lord, at this moment, your people are watching. At this danger, I was explaining the word afraid. Afraid means feeling fear or anxiety or being frightening. That is afraid. If you are, if you are feeling fear in you, or an anxiety or frightening, that is what we call fear. So if I tell someone I'm afraid of a lion or I'm afraid of a dog, this means there's a fear. Many times I see a lion or a dog. Moreover, there is a category of the word fear. I have grouped that. When someone worries that something undesirable will occur or be done. It signifies what we call afraid. And let me give you a little sentence. He was afraid that the farmer would send the dog after them, meaning there is something that is going to occur ahead. That is when someone thinks someone is going to do something ahead, there is some occurrence that makes someone become afraid. A second thing is unwilling or reluctant to do something for fear of the consequences. So if you are thinking about something or the consequences ahead of you, you feel the word afraid or there is a fear in you in life. As a Christian, today our key test will be taken from Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 10. Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 10. I read. Fear not, for I am with you. Not me. <laughs> the Lord is speaking. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. In the King James Version, I say, I will strengthen thee. Ye, I will help thee. I will help thee. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. God is speaking. Sometimes the anxiety, the fear, and the frightening will be too much in your marriage. Sometimes you feel like you want to divorce because the burden is too much. You are afraid as a single young man or a lady to get married because you have been hearing a lot of married people or couples fighting here and there. But my beloved young man or a, a, a lady, never be afraid or don't be afraid. Take a bold step because the almighty God is promising you not to be afraid or do not fear. Sometimes there are some things you see it like a mountain ahead of you. That's your problem. Either it is a debt or it's a huge problem in the family. There are a whole lot of covenant in our family. Some people will be telling me a lot of stories. You see, my great uncle reached 40 years 
The moment he's getting to 41 years, we see him died. My mom, the same thing. My grandmother, the same thing. My great sister, the same thing. You will see all those stories coming up. So you are afraid whilst you are heading towards to celebrate your 40th or 41 birthday because you see all your siblings or your elder uncles, your mom, your fathers have been experienced those evil things. But I'm telling you, I'm promising you one thing. Uh, Almighty God knows the positive things ahead of you, knows the negative things ahead of you. Do not be afraid. If I'm promising you, I'll help you. I'm a human being. I'm going to fail you. But the Almighty God who created heaven and earth is promising you, do not be afraid. Never at all. Do not be afraid. Joshua promised the Israelites when they were heading towards the Amorites and there were some five kings, Joshua called them and told them something. Joshua chapter 10, verse number 25. Joshua chapter 10, verse number 25. Then Joshua said to them, Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. Be strong, my, my beloved. Be strong and of good courage. Sometimes you need to be strong. You keep on crying day in and day out. Sometimes you smile outside and you cry indoor because you are afraid to reveal some of your pain to your fellow Christians. Do not be afraid. There are some people, when you, the moment you reveal your secret, in, 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 in the next 10 minutes, it's all over. But I'm giving you an almighty God, the only Jesus Christ who came to die for you and I. He's the only person you can reveal your secret and never afraid, never frightened that your secret will pop out or come out. If you reveal this secret to him, he's ever ready, my beloved, he's ever ready to solve those issues. When you reveal your secret to people, they can't solve the problem. They can't do anything about it. But they will keep on laughing at you, keep on sending your information here and there. Even within your church, within your workplace, within your family. I'm telling you, there is Jesus Christ who can hold you. Be strong and of good courage. For does the Lord will do to all your enemies against whom you fight. There yeah, are a lot of things in life you need to be bold and step. Sometimes you think you want to find some job. There are some jobs you think you, when you check from, from up to down, you see you don't deserve it. This kind of place, you don't deserve it. It seems I, I don't qualify to be there. But I'm encouraging you this moment. Be bold and move forward. Go and seek for the job and you receive the job. Just be bold. Don't be afraid. Yes, because the huge covenant in the family has frightened you. Sometimes you need that, you need to move forward, you need to take a bold step like David. He never took a sword, David. Just took five stones to face Goliath. When you see a giant man called Goliath, and a little guy, young man called David, was enough to move forward to meet Goliath. Because when he sees the attitude of Goliath, the Goliath and I'm on to the attempt, and then the year and no all year now. Mm-hmm. Mako. Oceano. Sabrantian, why you dare? Mako Oceano. Then young coupon be to me be a said David in Mac. Was Sanadin, Anunti, was Sunday. No yan nam yen yakuku. 
da abrabo no otimu se woni ani da so e se o sore na o sore na o nya gidiye se sa manien o hawo no o be si ano kwan david stood up to face goliath this man i need to face him a lot of people was frightening that he is going to kill david tada and am on who to a oku wani ma na obi to mo sign na obi bo hu o wa certain ani abrabom won ti me nya sister o ma me point me anye o ba point me anye won nya me nti me anye en so she won din se ya urade yesu christo ti ase he is going to help you the almighty god is going to give you the spirit to move on in life the whole family has never traveled before but if you are bold enough to take the step don't be afraid you also be called a traveler moving here and there from canada to us us to italy italy to norway and all over the world and you'll be helping people just take the step you have tried five times yes the visa has not been given to you don't be afraid take a bold step take a bold step and move on keep on what you say? What do you want to take a bold step? I want you to compress it. You have married for two, three times. Yes. Now you are afraid to get married or even accept of someone's proposal. Don't be afraid. There is a, a lovely man prepared for you to pamper you, to take good care of you, to make you feel like a queen, my beloved sister. Don't be afraid. Now it's time for you to accept this proposal. Don't be afraid because you look at the setback. So you have been frightening to accept this proposal. Don't be afraid. Accept it. Yes. As you're watching me, accept the proposal because this time God has prepared a very kind mind for a kind man for you. My beloved brother, you are afraid because you have been helping a whole lot of ladies. When it is time for them to accept to be a good wife for you, you never get anyone. This is the time. Don't be afraid. Be bold. There's a lady prepared for you. You have been writing application here and there. So you think you, 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 you are fed up to move on in life. You are fed up to even write application. You are fed up to even go and ask for job and opportunities. There is a company prepared for you. My brother, my sister, there is a nice company prepared for you. They are going to pay you a good amount, huge. I mean, there is a position there for you. Relax. Sometimes, Abrabono, Abusian Munu, Yamfao, Yaki, and Unti Omoko Siapra, who slow a whom to me kitao. Also, to me, could be now, and maybe bar a busian walk over a son, and maybe bar walk one hour by all the four hour busian tea. Men sure, and more bamumu, so free as near busium, and more bamumu, so free bread to a busium, or you call busium, any a busian would go out. God has prepared something special for you. Don't be afraid. You are the leader in the family to lead the family to the destination. Be afraid. Sometimes you will be facing a huge debt in your life. Don't be afraid, my beloved. You need to take a step to find solution how to run away or how to solve yourself away, to take all those debts away. Our Almighty God is ever ready to help you to take your burdens away. Burdens are leave at the cover. So, my beloved, bring all your burdens because you see yourself not to be valuable in this life. Even in your workplace, in your family, in your church, you see yourself not to be valued because a drumra as a woke or cassa, ye timmy fa. Ye petit rebi, a woke with shemwa, a bayawo. It means slow, 
se ube tuwa na mobi na asetina ni abrabono ube timi aye bibi ya dem faswa ni yede ni nkayen kwa abebre epu unti epu se nye mebi kitawa se misuro mi die mi intimi o mi intimi aha misuro ya di akendi ye kurempo o shamu nse mkurempo na when you a position is given to you because you feel to, you, you there's a fear or there's an anxiety in you you don't want to receive the position and so sa di bia no anka wo so mu a anka betimi aboa wo aboa foforo abo masita no mabra bo no etimi akonkan obu wo bo mfia dodo and ti toda e who ema anyama bi wo a wo timi te sign ko wachi wo mpese obetu anamo e wa setena ene abrabom the ambassador me dey show dey e wa setena ene abrabom emprempren ne se don't be afraid en suro men suro e san se anamo na wo tutu e wa abrabom no obi e di kan to be nyema wo fam no obi e di kan fam amane na wo fam no obi e di kan fam me me na kwa fo nyum bi sda him 625 I say I'm pressing on. I say me to coin, sure coin so. Debia me fuko menim. I'm pressing on the upward way. Your height I'm gaining every day. So help me and let's all press on to the upward way. Ya when it does so, I go pay one certain year brabum. Say it does so, then you have ready years Christo. I know I'm pressing me come from the mount. So I share your boss me and so no niya o. And me, I could be moon too. Your name was here, man for a guy. And so, I'm one of my moon, men so, I'm a man of old femme, what him, men so, a mass one day no, men so, that would be a two better. A man may can send me, was a nonsia a bomb print. And it's a nonsia young boy. No, San Nonsiano, who femme was him one, nonsia, the boy, oh, what him one. And then she ran canco. And the year, dear, a bit do a name. The Canadian child said, Abramona Obon, Oma, a who? Let me keep tower. Won't you mean you be beyond Fasuni Bia was a tiny Abrabum? Don't be afraid in life. Be bold, be bold, be bold. Yes, I don't know who was a tiny Abrabum. So in your south, good runner, and I'm more be able to be a no, and in Kanko, a shra a bit in the Abro. Where can you for? What can you know, would you know? A wound tea, they be out there, Sapono, what the Abusiano, what the Ajuman for Nina, a cogumnum. But a wound. As a leader, you need to be very bold. You need not to be afraid of anything. Sometimes, if there's a need to speak, speak. If there's a need to express yourself, express yourself so that people understand you much. Toda, hm, hm, no, a depression, eh, bro. What one want too much? Say, you man, you pande ya uno eh tete o. Who na mane? Be afraid. Express yourself and feel free. Be okay. A doctor for you na kwen kwa kan. Pada um ode ho 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 sa na um kan you man how kwen po ma bunting ne e who be kitawa e do how to me the bro. A wo fwa mo di e who a shem kore mo pi e do nti odu baby ya no amwa. Mesero, what are you? You know, son, you mano. You have five for a hundred years, but my friend, no, 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 Na kuku wanim, ni nyanku pon obe shirao. Onu ma ngma chedi yanko on tuwa suwa, on shirao, no on kao hon. Na tuwa suwa, na channel yi, share, na like, na subscribe, na come for my other four P, no omon so enye chiri. Nyanku pon, on shirao, ya mon pa ye. Yada wa se, batan pa, ma wun shi anu wadom no, enkaya honi, enti wun semna se wadom unti. Amen.